all right so this is what we were working on yesterday and yeah so as i said these are instanced static meshes so before proceeding with the system uh, i used instanced static meshes because I have heard that they are better for performance so but uh, I wanted to see it for myself so let's do a little experiment all right um, how can I compare the performance well in this scene there are too many stuff so therefore I'll create a blank scene like this and well, I'll delete oh no let's keep them so I'll make this one a little longer and okay so let's see what are the let's see some stat advanced yeah let's see what this scene rendering output okay so as you can see here well everything is one right so let's put uh, one of those rocks into the scene where is it here Not this one okay this one let's put one of these into the sea and see what increases all right now here we have mesh draw cost 24 what if I delete this one again okay it's fire now pay attention to this one here number of mesh draw calls five and when I add it, it becomes, yeah, it becomes 36. Okay, anyway, it increased. When I go further, it's 9. And when I'm here, well, it's fixed at 9. Let me delete this. Okay, I guess this one also affects and also the skybox I'll delete this skybox and I'll let's hide the visibility of the floor okay now it's 36 and when I play the game well it's fixed at 4 now it's 0 because nothing is rendering and I, when I look at it it's 4 so this is with the static mesh now let me duplicate this one it's 41 now and 47 okay it's the mesh draw calls are 12 okay let's keep increasing the number of instances now we have four let's make it eight like this and the mesh draw calls increase to 56 right and double again Sixty-two. What happens if I play? It reduced to twenty-six. It's 
that FPS okay FPS is not a problem because I guess this computer is powerful enough anyway the mesh draw cost is fixed at 29 right let's keep increasing and it now at 90 100 all right now anyway the point is the number of mesh draw calls keep increasing all right now yeah the number is at uh, 74 now let me delete this all the number is wait I need to take a screenshot of this one for comparison at this point it's 69 all right <coughs> now I'll delete this all And let's add that little tool we created procedural reach okay the mesh draw calls are at 40 37 now and it's at 4 now when I play the game right so let's keep increasing this now we have I guess um, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 about 10 more than 10 and let's play the game right now as you can see the mesh draw goals are at 12 I'm referring to this number well I'm not really sure about what all this means but I guess this mesh draw calls is the one that we need to not right so let's keep let's increase this further Mm. let's add another spline point here make it look like this I'm not really worried about the shape here I only want to increase the number of instances that we have we are drawing into the screen okay now I'm sure that we have more than what we had before and it's still the mesh draw calls are fixed at 4 so right so that's the point it never goes to a number like 100 or 60 more than 50 actually even if I go closer all right so yeah static measures are indeed performant well mm, let me make this straight again and see how much I can draw okay let me yeah let me put a number actually so that we can see it for sure 
uh, the amount of meshes we place I'll add the number count and at the beginning set count to zero this should be an integer and here I'll increment it count plus plus increment the count and when it is false I'll print the count the mesh count that I have I'll keep it for a longer time let's see 100 seconds right now we have 4261 meshes are being rendered into our C and when I play the game the number of mesh draw calls are still 4 it increases as I go closer but it never exceed like 100 so yeah this is better indeed and yeah I remember somewhere I read that there is a auto instancing feature but I didn't look into that yet so maybe with that when I place measures as static measures I can still draw them as in instance way so but I'm not sure how to do that yet alright so I'll stop this episode at this point and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of my patreon club link would be in the description below and thanks for watching see you in the next episode goodbye